Guys, I'm a little late to the game, but realize this. We have what we've all been waiting for. Even if you didn't know it, it's what you've been waiting for. Trust me, it's what you've been waiting for. We have the Mass Effect TV show. Oh my word, I can't express to you how excited I am. It is currently in development. Uh, there's a couple beige flags, red flags. It has not been explicitly said that this is the Commander Shepard storyline, but I don't know what else they would be doing other than Andromeda, which I don't think they would be doing based on fans' reactions and so on. Um, but the saga's popularity would lead me to believe that they're going to do Commander's Commander Shepherds, okay? Uh, with that being said, obviously a TV show is going to be better than a movie because of the way that the thing lays out. But my questions are, are, are we doing just season one? Are we? How many seasons are we planning? Is each game its own season? I think that that plays out. But the problem I also have with it being a TV show and with Mass Effect becoming a TV show is that I don't want it to lose lose its amazingness. It is the most amazing game. I think it's the greatest game ever made, game series ever made. I love it. It's my one of my favorite fictional worlds, fictional stories, everything. Okay? I don't want to see it lose that. I don't want to see it go awry. I don't want to see it be led astray. And also, I hate how TV shows these days are six, eight episodes, 45 minutes, Da, da 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 I want 10 to 12 episodes, an hour to an hour and a half each, especially if you're doing Mass Effect. There, there's so much to unpack and unfold in this story that you need that. But according to IGN, there are 11 Mass Effect characters and moments. The TV show needs to be a hit in order for it to work. So let's see if we agree or disagree. Just know if you haven't played the game, there will be light. There will be spoilers probably in this. So. Uh, first and foremost, confronting Rex on Vamir. Uh, obviously, the genophage is one of the key points to the game. Uh, it's one of the biggest points in the universe of Mass Effect. I think one of the most controversial things in the universe of Mass Effect. So you have to bring that, have to bring that into the show. I just hope that they do it similarly as the game, where the genophage isn't necessarily... It's brought in and it's explained, but there's still like a question behind it. Like it, it just sounded outright and wrong. And then you get the second side of the story later and da, 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 da. And I'm not saying that it was defensible. I'm just saying it plays into your mind on, was this the right thing to do for them? And it, it messes with you when you're playing the game. Obviously it's terrible, awful, not the right thing to do, but that's part of why mass effect is so great is that it, it takes you on this journey of thinking through these political things. And so obviously you have to have that, which means Rex has to be in the story. That's that's the other thing is in the game, you don't always get every single member on your crew. But I think for the TV show's sake, they are going to have to give you every single member. So talking down Saren on the Citadel. I wonder if that's supposed to say taking down Saren. I'm going to have to read this in order to see if they actually did that right. Um... wow number two on the list they just jumped to basically the end of mass effect one that's crazy uh i don't know why that's number two on your list but i do believe that that obviously it is taking down saren on the citadel by the way not talking uh i do believe that that is actually important uh because saren is the main antagonist in the first mass effect like you have to what like, how would you not, how would you not that? Okay. So we're doing chip shots right now. Chip shots. These are IGN. These are both chip shots. These are things that obviously should be in there. Confronting Rex because we learn about the genophage. Taking down Saren. Saren's the main guy. So Garrus' friendship with Shepard. Now this, 100%, again, I think is a chip shot. It is one of the main points in Mass Effect. Other people could pick other crewmates and develop relationships and friendships and whatever else, but Garrus is the man. It's your buddy cop show. It's it's a huge, huge part of Mass Effect. So I'm not impressed IGN thus far. The first three are obvious chip shots. Which Mass Effect character or moment do you most want to see in the show? Oh, Thane saving his son. I'm not as dedicated to this one. Uh, I think that it's important. I don't, once again, 
is Thane even going to be in the show? I hope he is. I hope that they add everybody, but is he going to be in the show? And if he wasn't, does it make the show lesser? Yes and no. I still think that the show could be a 10 out of 10 without Thane, but it does take away from Mass Effect a little bit when you remove one of the characters from the crew. I think Thane is a, is is not a huge role, but I think he's a cool one. I think it's a cool story, and saving his son is a huge deal. Uh, so far on the list, out of everything that we've read so far, and I did just see the next one too, uh, out of everything on the list I've seen thus far, this is the least important to be in the show, though I think it would be a wonderful addition. Tali Zora's trial. Obviously, I think that this needs to be in the show because um, the the Quarians have such a significant role in all of this. I also think that they have an incredible um, storyline, and I think that one of the endings that you can get with Tali Zora needs to be in the show because it is one of the most cinematic, amazing, incredible moments in Mass Effect. So I definitely think Tali Zora should be and her trial needs to be because I think it adds a depth and an immersion and understanding of Mass Effect. That's the thing about Mass Effect. There are so many cultures that are being forced together via the council and all this different stuff. So you, what you need to do is not breeze past those other cultures. You need to take time for them, which is why I'm saying this needs to be 10 to 12 episodes, hour to an hour and a half episodes, yada, yada. Lair of the Shadow Broker. I really like this storyline, mostly because uh, Liara to Sony is my favorite. It was She was the, the love interest that I chose in the first game. Um, I think she's one of the most interesting characters. I think uh, this storyline was incredible. But does the TV show have to have this? I think if the TV show wants to do any sort of side arcs under an overarching story, this obviously is the one to go with. But does it have to be done? Not necessarily. I don't think it's a definite. Uh yeah. Morden curing the genophage. Duh. Oh my word. Of course this has to be in there. Of course this has to be in there. What stupid what now the question is does this is this in season 1? How far is season 1 going? Cuz this is yes. But Mass Effect 2. So this should be like season 2 or th- probably not 3. I think you could do each game a one season for each game and be done. And then if it has an amazing success, you could debate on trying to do Andromeda because maybe the TV show would make it better. I don't know. But uh, this is a chip shot. You you can't not have this in there. That's so stupid. The Geth Quarian ceasefire. Uh, What? I mean... They literally say it in the in their thing how this seems impossible in the first two games. I think this is another chip shot. You have to do this for the political racial like the political racial storyline within Mass Effect that you play. This is one of the biggest moments. This is one of the biggest moments in like the history of Mass Effect. You know what I mean? So what? All right. IGN, you're just taking all the bunnies. Leviathan, plausible. I think you definitely could could put Leviathan in there. I don't think you could not have Leviathan in there. I think it's integral. I think it's integral to have the ending, to be able to accept the ending that is in Mass Effect. You have to have this scene. Now, people still didn't necessarily like it, but you have to have the scene in order to like tie into the end. The Citadel DLC. Oh, which one is that? Oh, Last Hurrah. Um, you know what? I think this is a big moment. Yes, because of the people you lose and the people that you gain and, and everything in between. This is that big. I think this is a key point in TV shows. You might think that this is a waste, but I think this is more integral than the Shadow Broker DLC than, and then some of the other things is because this is what's going to draw people in and have an emotional attachment to characters. 
is scenes like this. So I think you have to have that. Elcor Hamlet. A reference to Elcor Hamlet. <laughs> oh. I don't know about that. I don't think that's that big of a deal. So, all right. So they, I think they listed them all right here in this question. They, they they put a poll in the middle of it. Confronting Rex on Vermeer, it has to be done. Taking down, taking down Saren on the Citadel, or talking down Saren. Oh, wait a minute. Jump back. It's not taking down Saren. It's talking down. It's one of the ways that you can end the game is talking to Saren without fighting him. Oh, I just realized that. Forgive me. Some of you early on were probably like, no, it means talking. I, I should have read this, but I didn't want to read it to you guys. You guys can read. Talking down Saren on the Citadel. Was that one of the better options? <sighs> it has a really tragic ending, but I think that talking down Saren could be anticlimactic if you're watching the show because Shepard is such a run and gun shoot first kind of guy. Now it depends on your playthrough, obviously, but he's a soldier and I think it makes sense that he would fight him and it makes sense how Saren would fight. I don't think Saren, based on the connection and what he has going on, him being manipulated by Reaper, indoctrination, blah, 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 that he would be so easily talked down. I think it makes sense in the game, but in the show, would it make sense? I don't think that that's that important. Um, Garrus's friendship has to happen. Thane, not necessarily. Tali's trial, yes. Lair of Shadowbroker, maybe. Morden, yes, yes. Leviathan, yes. Citadel, yes. Elcor Hamlet, no. I would say Elcor Hamlet, least, least, for sure. Then, uh, then, ah, that's tough. Elcor Hamlet is least. Talking down Saren is next. You don't have to have that because there's so many options. Then maybe the Shadow Broker DLC. Then Thane uh, saving his son. Here's where the Shadow Broker DLC would actually be super important. Is if Liara is the love interest. Because then it breaks your heart a little bit, right? When she becomes a Shadow Broker. So, uh so Shadow Broker DLC might jump up then, if that's the case. But Thane saving his son isn't as important. Uh, then the rest are like, yeah, you got to have them. But Garrus' friendship, I mean, it's up there. Confronting Rex on Vamir, I feel like, is integral to this whole thing. I don't want it to be just a buddy cop show, though. So anyway, we don't really need to spend time answering this question. But that's what they think. Uh, maybe I'll do another video where I talk about what I think the TV show needs, <clears throat> which I kind of already referenced a little bit. And some of these are very good points, but they're chip shots. They're not necessarily things that could maybe be left out. No, they have to be included because they're part of the story. So IGN, I, I don't know about this article. Not the greatest. Carlos Morales, I respect you, bro. I'm glad that you posted this article, but could have been better. Could have been better. They were chip shots. Um, but I think the show is going to be a hit no matter what. I love it. God bless you guys. Get